what's poppin super quick intro today because i just want to get straight into the video and i don't want to talk because you know i talk that much anyway so then i'm going to show you guys how i make my lace front toe wigs um a lot of you guys have requested this video super easy process but you guys requested it so i'm like why not just make it um also i incorporated how i did my babies in this video because you guys were literally going to kill me if i didn't get that video up so i just put it in this video for y'all um i think that's all if you guys want to see how i make my wigs and keep on watching bye so you're gonna need some bleach i use the bw2 bleach you can use quick blue or any type of bleach you're gonna need some 40 developer you want to mix that together and i did this on my frontal video so if you don't know how to like mix it you can go watch that but you want to mix it together and just place it on the frontal lightly you want to make sure that like you can't see the bleach or like the bleach doesn't get on the hair on the other side if that makes sense but yeah because if it gets on the other side it's going to make your hair blonde and you don't want that unless you want some blonde baby hair but i don't want blonde baby hair so now i'm going to place the frontal on my wig head and put the thread through the thread is a really hard process because my nails are hecka long but i got it through so you want to tie a knot at the end easy i don't really know how to explain it just tie a knot sorry if you don't know how to tie a knot figure it out okay okay um and you want to start threading so i start at the very end of the frontal and i pull the needle through and i just start sewing it's really self-explanatory but as you watch me like do it if you're confused you'll probably catch on in like a couple seconds because it's really easy and i also secured the frontal down with the pin if you have a t-pin that's probably much better i'm doing it the getaway and using a push pin because i have no t-pins in my house but yeah um and you just want to keep doing that until you reach the other side and also you want to measure where the frontal should sit i put the wig cap on before i put the frontal like started sewing it on and i like marked where my frontal should sit um to make sure like it like actually fit on my big head um but yeah So once you get to the end of the frontal, you want to basically pull the needle through the thread like two times so it can create a knot at the end. Okay, now we're going to start sewing the bundles on. So I just cut the bundle, I measured it, and I put another T-pin in to secure it. And I just started sewing from one side to the other. This process is so easy. Um, I guess you guys just want to see how I do it. But it's really simple. So you can just like watch me do it. I'm really good at sewing too. I dang there got carpal tunnel during this process. But it's okay because my hair was so laid after... Once you've sewed on a couple bundles, I'll say like maybe five or six, you should get this circle piece. And that's when you want to start sewing the bundles on straight across and not like circular, I guess. And yeah. Now when you're completely done, you want to cut off the extra cap. 
um i forgot to say that you need a dome cap but yeah you need a dome cap and when you're done you're gonna cut off the excess cap so that it can like fit as a wig and instead of the cap showing the frontal will show in the front if that makes any sense i have no idea but you want to make sure you like do not cut the thread off because if you cut the thread off all your hard work will be like gone to waste so be careful and cut off the cap not the thread So now I'm going to show you guys how I pluck my baby hairs and frontal a little more in depth. Because the last video I did, I showed you how to do it, but I didn't really show you how to do it. Do you feel me? So basically what I do is I take a spray bottle and I spray the perimeter of the hair and I um, comb it back so that you can really see what you're working with. And this frontal is pre-plucked as you can see, but I'm going to go in and really go in and do how I like it. So... Taking one of my clips or whatever, I'm like pulling the hair back so that it's even easier to see what I'm doing. Um, this frontal already looks good pre plucked but I like my stuff to be really like in depth. So like I said in my last video, I go in sections and um, I basically like go one section after the other and pluck one area until it's kind of thin, not hecka thin, like bald, but like thin. And then I go to the next section and do the same thing on that section. So y'all can just kind of watch how I do it. As I do it, I like to pull out baby hairs too so I can map out like how I want them to look. But yeah, y'all can watch and see how I do it. what your frontal should look like when you're done plucking you know i mean this is how i like mine to look if you don't like it to be super thin in the front then it doesn't have to look like that but this is how i like it to look and it looks pretty good now for baby hairs i take my little clip or whatever i mean comb what am i talking about and i separate the little thin pieces in the front that's what i'm gonna make my baby hairs you know that's what i'm gonna trim and that's what's gonna be the hair that you see in the front I took a really thin section. You don't want the baby hairs to be hecka thick because I just doesn't look right. And I take my little um, eyebrow razor thing and I just shut it off basically. I go in like diagonal angle because I don't want it to be like straight across. That doesn't look natural. But yeah, and I also don't make them super short because I like my baby hairs to be kind of long. And then like I can trim them along the way, but you don't want to make them hecka short like right off the bat. Because what if you don't like them that short? So after straightening the wig um, and like plucking the frontal, that's how it looks. It looks pretty good in my opinion. Now, to trim the lace, it's so self-explanatory. The only thing I can tell y'all is to not 
take off heck of lace the first time you cut it you want to leave off a, a, like a good amount of lace so that you can like really go in and see like what looks right because if you take off heck of lace at first you know and it doesn't look right that's just going to be a waste of a wig because you took off too much lace i don't like to take off heck of lace but this particular wig i took off a good amount of lace because that's like how i just wanted to do it and i'm also not keeping this wig like i'm gonna sell this wig because i don't want it i have too many wigs at home but yeah i'm gonna sell this one so that's why i cut off a little bit more but yeah that's how it looks if you can see like it kind of blends into my skin pretty well and it's not even like gelled down yet This is the frontal without any gel in it. I haven't gelled it down. I'm just like, it's just on. You feel me? Like it's not gelled down. My cap is right there, you know? Um, But I bleached it so well, it looks nice. And usually I put foundation on the lace, but I didn't. I just put foundation on my wig cap. Okay, now I'm gonna do the baby hairs on the wig head, not on my head because I wasn't wearing this wig. I'm not gonna put it on but i'm not really gonna talk i'm just gonna sh like let you guys watch and see like what i do because i honestly don't know how to explain it so yeah i'll shut up now bye Okay, so that was basically it. I'm not gonna put this wig on in this video because I don't want y'all to be sitting here for an hour watching a video, but if you want me to do that in my next video, I can do that for you. But yeah, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!